Hello viewers and welcome to another episode of Lancer Custom Works, where I will be discussing the various mech builds you could make and play with Lancer. Lich, is a lot stranger than your usual mech. Your first glance at the mech will probably have you thinking, this is an extremely fragile hacker, in fact, it looks more fragile than a goblin. You couldn't be more wrong. Lich has not one, but two traits that increase its survivability by literal time travel to reload an earlier save file. It's very hard for you to permanently die in a Lich, but you will also die a lot at the same time. And despite the fact that it has a ridiculously low base health and heat cap, Lich also has 5 repair cap, the highest amount among Horus mech, so even if you take actual damage, you can patch it up easier than others in Horus. Hell, its core power is made to have Lich take damage or effect for others, along with suddenly appearing over a vast distance. And of course, Lich is a very good hacker mech, with 15 sensor range once again and some tech attack bonus. It's also only armed with a single weapon mount, but with this much base systems point, do you really need it? Anyway, let's talk about its builds. In the following builds, you will frequently find that they have unhinged chronology, which can support your ally by making them way faster, or shut down your enemy by making them so slow they can't react to anything, as well as wandering nightmare, which does the same thing but permanently in a wide area. This can instantly shut down so many powerful enemies that it's kinda ridiculous for how useful it is. Also, fun little trick, if you are in an enemy's threat, just throw these two at them and walk away, overwatch is a reaction. You will also find some builds with anti-linear time, because honestly, Lich is the best mech to put this on due to how easy it can just ignore conditions, and Didymos class NHP, because combining more survivability with tactical movement can't go wrong at all. Now, due to how neutral Lich's traits are to basically everything, Lich surprisingly works well in every single role, especially striker, dear lord, especially striker. Anyway, let's start going down all 33 of the submissions, starting with all the support builds for Lich, mixed in with controller and defender roles. This is I come from the future, no time to explain, a general look on how all support controller Lich look like. A whole bunch of Lich tech to manipulate time on everything, stay of execution here can freeze an enemy in time to catch a breather, some support tools or talents like restock drone and asso stabilizers to patch or boost your allies, and hey, since you are going to throw a lot of saves and tech attack at the enemies, might as well get open door or hacker to make their life a living hell. And let's not forget the unraveler, which can occasionally get lucky and kill an enemy straight. And of course, you are also in a lich, so even if you suddenly get killed, it doesn't affect you that much, until you get ganged up by multiple enemies. Here's one that's more focused on moving things around, both allies or enemies with Accelerate, Ferris Lash, Warp Rifle, and even Horo S1, maybe even an ally if they ask for it. It also has Spotter and Leader to support anyone nearby or within its sensor range. This one does the same thing in different way, using Didymos to run as close as possible towards the enemy after activating Blink Space Tunneler so you can teleport your entire team right in front of the enemy. Superior by design also combo well with anti-linear time because you can outright ignore any impaired condition you have absorbed. Held image works well too, because a free lock on every round is a very nice thing to have, especially if you can use it with hacker talent too for more heat. And if you are focusing on hacking so much, why not fill your weapon mounts with auto guns so you can keep on hacking things forever. Or even use it in combination with autopod, so you can fire every time your allies consume any lock on, which since this build is designed to work with and support friendly artillery with spotter, fobby mod, with pepcock, anti-linear time, and horo s2 to provide some defense. Another way to get more lock on is by using black spot laser. You might also notice that the following builds have a non-insignificant number of lich to have prototype weapon, other than the fact that lich has only a single weapon mount, prototype weapon is also indestructible, so you will always have a spare firepower. Here's something interesting, this is chronomobile, a Fomorian taxi lich because why not? It has mule harness, it has cable winch, and when you go glitch time, you can teleport. If anyone is riding on you, they can come with you, effectively moving them by 15 spaces max. This is iCast Fist, it's basically just your average support controller lich, except it can also jump and has a so it can travel half the map quickly and goes. This hand of mine is burning red. 
cast Plasma Gauntlet on a poor fellow, instantly explode and teleport right back to its original spot with no harm done to it at all. That's right, thanks to Lich being able to just not die, suicidal tactics are now repeatable and viable. And just to remind people, Lich being able to reverse time is just a flavor thing, it does not let you regain your limited charge or make bullets travel back into your loading weapon. And finally, since Lich has so much systems points to spare, why not just give it a ton of grenades to throw? You can even use Accelerate to extend your grenade range, making them a pseudo range 10 systems. And this is basically how Lich looks like, normally. Not only can you throw a whole bunch of stuffs on it due to its ridiculously high systems points, especially when people also tends to put more system skill points on it thereby further increasing its total system points, making it essentially a powerful Swiss army knife, but it's also fucking immortal and far more durable than your average hacker mech. In fact, this is almost the same cases with support defender lich builds, just slap on some defensive systems and you are good to go, like stasis bolt, stasis barrier and maybe even argonaut shield because you can take all the bloody damage. If you do actually get hurt, you can use Lesson of Transubstantiation to temporarily run away between dimensions, which is a powerful defensive core bonus that most people tend to forget because offensive core bonuses look more attractive. Now this one is interesting, this is Briar Rose, but first let's talk about Briarios frame, a IPS and core power that makes you damn near immortal if you are at one structure, and Lich's immortal trait, can revive you at one structure and one reactor stress if you die, are you seeing where this is going? Combine that with Lesson of Transubstantiation, this Lich is not going to die at all, flickering in and out of the real world like a phantom. On top of that, this thing can build a bunker for its save point so if you die, you are back in safety. Also, why not use Exemplar on somebody before you teleport away from dying, rendering them ineffective at attacking anything while you, well, you have a ton of things that don't even need attack rolls at all. And if you are wondering if spinning up the Assault Cannon will prevent you from soul vesseling, no, it does not, that includes being immobilized too. Only 4 things stop you from soul vesseling, jammed, stunned, being pile drive, or if you are unable to use the reaction at all. So, as you can see, even if you are not going for galaxy brain builds with Lich, it has so much damn spaces that you can just do anything with it, and if you make any mistake, you generally get off unscathed from it. And thanks to its traits, its survivability can easily snowball to a ludicrous degree with enough health or heat cap, that despite not being made as a striker mech, 40% of builds listed in this episode are striker builds, and I'm 90% sure a certain show has some influence on this. In fact, some even went fully into pure striker category. This is I will crump with you sweetie pie, it's basically a Tokugawa build in a lich, with only 7 heat cap, because lich doesn't give a shit about being cooked alive either. High heat high damage weapons, Lucifer to gain more damage in return for more heat, and of course, plasma gauntlet, because destroying something by exploding has never been easier with lich, the deep well heat sink is honestly just an health advice at this point, it only works if you actually follow it. And if you did burn a reactor, you have adaptive reactor and a whole bunch of repair cap. Here's another one that does almost the same thing, technophile and black dumb combo are definitely needed to keep the heat down to an acceptable level. This is immortal lich, because you know what's scarier than an undying mech, an undying ghost mech that can phase through walls and fly. Basically, you stab someone with your attack, and then just fade cloak away so they can't ever hit you back. Also, fun fact, if Lich overcharge, it will almost certainly die due to its low heat cap, but after you soul vesseled, you still have that extra free action, so if your fade cloak is still activated, you can just turn it off, stab someone, and become a spooky ghost again. There's basically nobody that you can't stab, no matter where they hide. But honestly, it's still better to utilize all of a mech to make the best of it, like how controller striker liches do. This is I drank deep and killed him, because teleporting right in front of someone with beckoner and then activate seekum at next turn to murder everyone is hilarious. You can also beckon someone to switch place with them, then activate soul vessel to reverse the damage and send you right back to your original spot with your victim. Every self damaging systems is absolutely safe to use with lich. There's also a very expensive and hilarious way to get to a target, you can activate glitch time, buff an enemy, then stop time to steal it off them like you were taking their lunch money, and now you are buffed with systems that should have been impossible to self buff, and the target is in your murder range. Beckoner can also be used to pull everything close to your target too, 
so you can shish kebab all of them together with the impact lance, or even trigger a meltdown to vaporize them because guess what, dying can't stop you. However, the creator of this build was apparently suggesting to do this every turn which, no, that's not possible because Lich can only use immortal once per scene. Heck, just get thinking tomorrow's thought, so the person you beckoned is now extremely vulnerable to being beat. I also like that with supermassive installed, this lich can knock two targets around like they were bowling balls even when jammed, it would certainly be nice if someone planted a couple dangers on the ground beforehand, like mines. And at 26 health, this is basically the highest level of beef a lich could achieve at license level 6 with reinforced frame, this lich can definitely take a big hit and just laugh it off. Add in scanner swarm with the combo, and no matter the distance or at point blank, you can hack pretty damn well, and with hunter logic, singularity motivator, and fade cloak, this is a lich with an incredible amount of escape plans. There is some builds that I have a bit of questions though, like this one. This is if only I had thorns like a thistle, this is a lich grappler build with synthetic muscle netting and total strength sweet 2 to choke the life out of people. Here's a problem with lich grappler, it shuts down soul vessel so now lich is like, just a normal non-immortal mech. Turns out all it takes to render lich mortal is by just holding them. So on one hand this is a very devastating build with bristle crown and titanomachy to brutally ram and grapple people, but it's also a lot more fragile than normal lich. Well, I guess that just means you need to murder whoever that you are grappling fast to become immortal again. However, if you have more escape plans that aren't just smash the grappled target and hope they die first, this can be rather effective. With stay of execution, you can just freeze the target in time so you can walk away or use Didymos to just get away in two directions instead. This build also interestingly used Mimic Mesh, turning Lich's sensor range into more movement by walking towards an ally each time they are getting hurt. And this is Zoro, the only controller striker to use guns, two hand cannons in fact, which with Roland Chamber and Gunslinger could both hit hard and be flexible, and Neurospike will make the Lich quite sneaky with Infiltrator. Basically, this is a time-bending stealthy Gunslinger, because why not? And that's generally how controller striker lich builds go, I really just like the fact that lich is one of the few mechs where using plasma gauntlet is completely safe but in an entirely different way. Anyway, let's talk about the final list of the builds, the controller artillery. This is look I'm a coward okay, a controller artillery lich that has loads of oracles to shoot at people over terrain. With infiltrator, crack shot, and gunslinger, this is going to hit hard, but if you want to be really hard to get shot at, there's retractable profile to make you smaller, but you can't do any attack in this mode. Which is why there's also marker light and lotus projector to support your allies in this form anyway. Also, most of lich tech will work with retractable profile too, since most of them don't bother with attack rolls. This is a discovery, it's a lich with a displacer, a super powerful weapon that generates a staggering 10 heat upon firing, with a mech that only has 7 heat cap. And yet it will always survive from firing it, this is why Lich is so great, it can do the most ridiculous shit possible and gets away with it every time. And if you think that's the only displacer Lich build, think again, this one even has stasis shielding to gain resistance against all damage if it does get overheated. Not enough damage? Just get a Lich that can use Beckoner to pull everyone together then fire the displacer at them, because the displacer has blast one. Also, Lich gets weird with blink shield, because you would expect that it would be an easy big brain move to cast blink shield on half of the enemy team and go Bye, have a great time. trapping them in the black void for at least a round, but no, you can't do that, because blink shield has a specific line that said no action or effect can go through it, nothing, meaning if you try to soul vessel, you just teleport to the closest possible location to your marker, which is the side of the shield. Blink shield really does not give a shit about Lich's shenanigans, this is mosquito, because what else would you call a lich that can fly or climb up a wall, sting someone from unexpected angles with a ghoul nexus at range 25, and then quickly run away and disappear if you try to hit it. Also this mosquito can see through high tech disguises and can blind you with flash grenades. And finally, this is the wind hunt, a sniper lich with vulture, one of the best main rifle for sniping purpose. There's not much else I could say with this build, it has crack shot, infiltrator, core siphon, all you need for a sniper build, with a whole bunch of tech and systems for the usual tech shenanigans. So, that's all 33 of Lich build submissions, but one final question, is Lich complicated to build? 
No, not even remotely, it's just a very durable mech that likes to hack stuff. Anyway, shout out to everyone that has submitted their amazing submissions to me, I really didn't expect so many of the Lich builds to be striker oriented, Lich really is kinda made for muscle wizard builds. Anyway, here's the topic for next episode, this is gonna be a fun one. With everything done, I will see you all next time. Hello there, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell button. If you really want to support my channel, you could visit my Patreon page, or buy me some Kofi, links in the description. Anyway, have a nice day.